Hello guys, I just got back from school, and today I'm going to be talking about my weirdest dream ever. It actually happened um, sun Saturday night. So, let's get in. Okay, so guys... I've made a thing called my dream log and so yeah so here's my dream so I'll put all the text in the description so this is how it went I was in the hospital and my entire family was there and when I woke up there was a thing on my face other than my glasses at all now there was nothing on my face. If I didn't wear my glasses, there would be nothing on my face and I can't see about these things. Okay, so I just yanked it off and my Nana, nana showed it back on. What is going on? The doctor said, no, if you don't have that on for five minutes, you'll go into oof mode. You'll oof. So I was like, with the cork? So I said, is this a joke? Mom said, no. So if you then we left. Luckily, the hospital was two minutes away. So we drove home at like 100 miles per hour. The cops pulled us over and said, your sp mom stopped him and said, my son has a curse. Or if he has something off his face, he will die. The cop said, okay, you're free to go, and it's okay to speed up some of the track. Mom said, okay, and then we went like one, zero, zero, one, something, 10 million miles per hour. <laughs> and in three minutes, we were home, two minutes before I would leave. But 10 minutes with it on, getting one minute without it being on. My face. So I was watching YouTube when Jay pulled the power cable out of the wall. I tried screaming, Mom, but in the hospital, the doctor told me you can't scream. Screaming will make you lose all five minutes. So I kept it on and asked Nana who's what's up. Back into the wall. So five minutes of what are you doing? What? I, 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 what? 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 I'm making a video! I'm making a video! I kept it on and asked Nana who was beside me to plug it back into the wall for five minutes. I passed after Nana put it on my face and revived me. And Nana said, How the F? How the. How the. How the frick are you alive? Then I said, You put it on after the last second. And Mom said, No. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh frick. Mm -mm. And I wanted to play Xbox. I asked Nana if I could just roll and yank the plug from my Xbox out of the wall. But at the same time, Jay yanked the cord again, and my Nana and Nana wasn't out to the last 10 seconds. And she was like, Jacob, what the frick did you do, you little piece of crap? And I said, just plug it back in. But I said that for three seconds before I went to oof. And Nana ran as fast as she could. And Emma knocked her down. Emma ran as fast as Sonic could plug it. One second after I oofed, 10 minutes passed. And I gain one minute. So I thought saying staying there for ten hours would give me more time so I try. But when I took it off, I oofed yet again. And it was as clean for the except that the body got to my heart. Stop Jay from pulling the plug. See the way I could put it on my face, but it wasn't done hard. That's minute passes in the dock. So the body got to was five minutes and I took a bike. It was four minutes since a wall. Minute pass and I was trying to turn it on. They finally found the button, the button button, but for that, they taped the power cord into the wall with the strongest tape of the world. They taped the thing to my face, and they revived me, and I was like, Wow, well, what is going to happen? Inside, boys, I tried medicine for like one year, 
and it didn't go away. By the way, I died and got revived more than a hundred times that year. So now it's 2023. I still have the cars. We go to the doctor's office, and then she, but but she, when I was in the hospital, the man from Earhart slashed my school. I know that right. Dear Miss Preston. Matthew Kendall has a curse where if he doesn't have a thing on his face, he oofs. Please understand, IUH. I was out of school the entire time, so I thought, hmm. Hmm. If I fell and somehow got the curse, I don't want to fall again. So I fell in a button pitch black. I could hear everybody, but my eyes went up in the thing. The thing was still on my face, but again. Because of that, my bodyguards used, oh god, but my eyes were stuck closed, and when I fell, the glasses in my butt off the wall because I fell against one, they shot right out of my bodyguard's head, they were slowly sliding down the wall, and I dropped onto the floor, that's the last thing I saw, seven years later I woke up, and it was 2030, and then the doctor was half cyborg, and my family was for cyborg, and I was for cyborg, cyborg, so I thought, hmm, hmm, I think I can take this BS thing off my face, but turn that in. I got everyone else to talk to my best, and they come back in and see me dead for real, and that's the end of the day one of my dream log. Bye. Like and subscribe.